Hi, kids. Okay. Uh, next up is Nightmare Alley, uh, the 1947 version of the film. Uh, there was the 2022. Was that the last one that was nominated for Best Picture? So, anyways, this is the 1947 version. Uh, have you seen verse both versions? Um, do you have a preference? Which one do you like better? There is a difference, uh, especially with the ending. We'll get to that in the end of this. Uh, this version, directed by Edmund Golding, uh, starring Tyrone Power, uh, Joan Blondell, uh, Colleen Gray, and Helen Walker. So this is based on a novel. Um, I will point out that uh, so far, uh, almost 20, all the film noirs I have talked about this month are based on novels. So uh, that kind of uh, thing of uh, Hollywood doesn't come up with their own ideas anymore. Hollywood never came up with their own ideas. Uh, they were adapting things from day one. Uh, some of the earliest films were adaptations of Frankenstein. So yeah, Hollywood will t steal your work and uh, make some money off of it. So uh, the novel is by William uh, Lindsay Gresham. Um, screenplay credit for this is to Jules Firthman. Uh, talked about Jules Firthman a little bit on here before, or at least I've mentioned him. Uh, writer started in the silent era. So by this point, he is uh, very experienced at his craft, uh, as is Edmund Goulding. Edmund Goulding also started in the silent era. Some of Jules Firthman's other credits that I have mentioned in this is a uh, screenplay he worked on To Have and To Have Not, and, or To Have and Have Not. I say things wrong. Um, and The Big Sleep, which I kind of just mentioned those couple videos ago. So he worked on those, worked on this. Um, so let's talk about uh, Gresham. Um, guy who from a very early age was kind of uh, fascinated with carnies, carnival folk, uh, kind of a lifelong obsession to, to him, um, probably dealt with some depression, attempted suicide at one point, unsuccessfully, would you believe that, uh, and then later successfully actually, um, uh, dealt with alcoholism most of his writing career and his life was in poverty, unsuccessful. Um, so, writes Nightmare Alley based on all of his interests. Um, he was also interested in spiritualism and hucksters and frauds and all the things that make up this film. Um, and alcoholism, that's in there too. Um, later on, he would write uh, nonfiction books. Uh, he wrote a book about uh, Houdini. Uh, I think he co-wrote it with uh, James Randi, uh, the amazing James Randi. Uh, if you don't know who James Randi is, uh, he's an honest liar. Um, anyway, so writes this, this, uh, the novel I think came out in 46. Um, so novel comes out, big enough hit, he thinks, okay, here we go, I'm on my way, here comes success. Didn't quite work out that way. Um, but anyways, Tyrone Power uh, was kind of being typecast or was afraid of being typecast, wanted to show he could do more. Uh, so he uh, told uh, Daryl Zanuck, producer on Century Fox, he said, hey, let's buy this for me to star in. And that is what happened. Uh, Tyrone Power had worked previously on The Razor's Edge, a film directed by Edmund Goulding, which also um, starred Gene Tierney. Uh, so that's why Edmund Goulding is brought in as the director on this film. Um, Edmund Goulding, not really, um, not overly known with noir. This is probably his only film you could consider a film noir. Uh, maybe more of a director of 
dramas and musicals. Uh, my favorite Edmund Goulding film that he directed is A Night at the Opera, so Marx Brothers movie. Uh, so he would kind of do whatever is brought his way, right? But uh, he worked with a lot of actors and actresses uh, that appeared in film noirs uh, that I have mentioned on this list. Uh, he directed George O'Brien and Joan Crawford and Gloria Swanson and Humphrey Bogart and Lana Turner, Joan Fontaine, Linda Darnell, Burt Lancaster, all of those uh, people who have appeared in fantastic film noirs, appeared in films uh, directed by Edmund Goulding. And then, so the novel's pretty dark. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that they couldn't adapt for this film version. Uh, the film's kind of dark too, uh, especially with the uh, sort of a one point uh, uh, of light. What is that called? Anyways, uh, so the ending of the film was changed from uh, the novel. Uh, I think in the 2022 version, they revert to the ending that is in the novel. Uh, this one kind of tags on an extra little uh, thing, makes it, I, you know what? I like both endings. I don't know which one I like more, do you know? Uh, what you like, not what I like. Tell me what I like. Um, but I like how this version, for once a producer comes up with something, an ending that I don't think is horrible, I like how it makes the story go full circle. So we're kind of uh, back to where we started. Uh, it's like poetry, it rhymes. Uh, led to believe, based on what we've seen in the film, what is going to happen now to our character, which is probably what you could have guessed a little bit on the other version of the ending, born for it. Um, anyways, uh, that's about it for Nightmare Alley. Uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends, comment. Uh, tell me which one of these films you like or don't like, what you like about it, things I miss, things you want me to talk about. Uh, thank you.